Hey everyone, I am so excited to finally be showing you this haul that I've been honestly sleeping on making for a little bit longer than I initially would have wanted to, but to be honest, I definitely did procrastinate. We like to keep it real on this channel, but I also did get busy, like actually genuinely busy with life as well. So, sorry. But anyway, I'm excited and I'm here now and I have quite the haul of funky fresh finds for you. I went thrifting with my friend Kat and we did a little if you catch my drift, that put me in this very particular state of mind where I had this goal to find the weirdest, most wild thrift store pieces I could find on that trip and buy them for a festival that we were going to together. And I definitely found some pretty interesting pieces. So this haul is definitely gonna be a fun one. So I have another haul that's like two pieces from another time. And I'm definitely gonna share that with this haul too. So enough with my jibber jabber. I'm gonna get right into the pieces so that you can see what I got. I think you guys will actually really enjoy this. I'm just gonna start with the other haul really quickly because there's only two items from it. But honestly, this top is so cool. And I'm really glad that I gave it a chance. I almost didn't buy it because it's kind of ugly. But honestly, you would never really believe me until you'll see it styled in another outfit video. But this actually looks really sexy on because of the slight V-neck going on here. And also, it's really form-fitting. And these sleeves, almost a bell sleeve. I would say they're more like a flute sleeve. Either way, they got this nice little flare going on and the sweater material continues in the back and it's got this orange backdrop with like some intentional pillage put in there to match the colors of the shirt. And this tag, you gotta see. Isn't that so cool? It's by the brand Semi Sweet. And this is very much, I consider this Y2K, honestly. It kind of makes me think of that style. My friend saw this on my story and she was like, this makes me think of Jules from Euphoria. And honestly, I 100% agree with her. And it kind of makes me think of like Jules's style for, from season two more specifically. It kind of gives me that energy. Um, Miss Jules has definitely become even though I didn't really like her character development this season, I definitely really liked her style this season too. I liked it in season one as well, but honestly everything she wears is very inspiring to me and I think you can tell with like kind of what I did with my makeup that Euphoria is definitely taking its effect now that it's over in how I choose to express myself. Quite the staple. I am so excited for these. They're Ralph Lauren corduroy pants and if i zoom in here to kind of show you they're from 1967 so they're vintage and look at that beautiful green tag and look at this detailing of this leather on the back they've got pockets on both the front and the back that are real <laughs> amazing and they've got this like straight leg going on honestly these look amazing on they're comfortable they're actually comfortable. They don't feel super tight or anything. I still have plenty of room, but yet they make me look like long and tall. And I'm 5'2", so I don't really look tall ever because I'm not, but these definitely make me feel like I look taller even in person. So I really like that they do that. And I love these and I've worn them in a embarrassingly amount of time since I bought them. I'm gonna start off strong with this really amazing bag. It's got like a European cafe. It's like a tapestry or like couch material. It's very thick and it's got this pocket where you can put, oh, there's a mask in there. Um, <laughs> it's mine, don't worry. I, I brought this to one of the festivals I went to. It's got like this drawstring situation and then you can like snap it here and then it's just a cool little 
but not super big backpack. And really cool print that isn't like too much to like a, I guess Monaco house and even like this. This is definitely my favorite piece from this entire haul. It's this swimsuit material corset type top and it's got these two cherubs on it. I'm sure that this is like some sort of fast fashion just because of the tag. I'll show you. But I don't know exactly where it's from, but regardless, it's actually, I, th I think it's not horrible quality actually. And I've been able to wear it multiple times since I've gotten it as mainly as a layering piece. And honestly, it's super flattering. This is a really cool layering statement piece for sure. And I don't really care if it falls apart at some point in the next year. I really like it. This piece is super wild. It's this like unitard or I don't even know. Bodysuit, catsuit, got this mock neck mesh top and this opaque stretchy bottom. Honestly, it's a lot more flattering than I expected it to be on. It is Forever 21, but good for them for making such a like weird piece. I got this for one of the festivals that I went to. I went to two festivals in the past month and I didn't wear this to either one. I think I'm going to challenge myself to try to wear this out and about because it has a lot of potential. We got a staple piece here. I'm so sorry. It has so much cat hair on it. It's clean though, I promise. Sure, Dan. My cat actually saw this when we were at the thrift store. And she was like, honestly, I think this would look really cute on you. And it's this very like simple, but sexy, like off the shoulder, like sw black sweater. And it's by Love Republic. I've never heard of that brand before. So cool. It's so cute on. It's so flattering. And honestly, like it will literally go with everything, either as a layering piece or just as it is. It, honestly, I love it. This comic shirt is such an amazing find. I was so stoked when I found it because I had a comic shirt that I bought from a vintage shop in Seattle called Lucky Vintage. That was like literally my favorite shirt ever. And it somehow vanished mysteriously from my life, probably because I've moved a few times. So it probably just made its way not into the rest of my wardrobe but it was so cool. It was like colorful comics with like big buttons. This will suffice for now. It's got a nice black and white comic going. It's very romantic. And these buttons, like come on. Like look at how cool that is, the black and white. It's by Inter Affair. And <laughs> I still have the tag on it because I haven't worn it yet. But it's got these like cool short sleeves. I'll show you the back. Very awesome. I'm thinking of styling it. Honestly, there's so many different ways that could be styled. I think it would probably be the most flattering to my body if I tied it in the front and kind of made it look a little cropped and like rolled up the sleeves. But I also think this wouldn't look bad if I wore it like tucked in with the rolled up sleeves, like completely bent like this. And I have a tie that I think would actually look really awesome with this, but I just need to learn how to tie a tie first. And honestly, this being open would look really cool too. I have this other printed button up shirt. It's got limes and coconuts on all over it. Or I think it's just, yeah, it's limes and coconut. Oh, they're drinks. They're like little vacation drinks, like pina coladas or something by good fellow it's such a fun vibe it kind of gives me like dad on vacation vibes and i wore it to one of the festivals i went to this past month and it was a big hit that is definitely to thank for these pants coming into my life i would have never known they were at the thrift store if she didn't find them in the lingerie section they were just literally on the ground and she was like hey I feel like these would look really cool on you. And they are so, so fun. I just love the detailing on them. Like this lace print top and this ruffle detail is so cool. I definitely think these are vintage. I don't know if there's a tag actually. 
I don't think there's, no, there's not a tag. So I honestly have no idea what brand or where or when or why, but they have this really fun flared leg with a matching lace on the bottom and they're all completely mesh and see-through. So they're definitely like sexy pants. They're definitely meant for like lingerie, but I definitely think these would be fun for being Utnavu. That is it. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this little thrift haul. I hope you enjoyed it just as much as I did. If you want to see more hauls like that, I'm definitely going to be venturing out for some of those more weird and interesting pieces. I do have some exciting new plants and collaborations coming up soon. So I'm really excited for this. I'm gonna keep it on the DL right now. Um, but you'll know it once it's out. I'll be doing some more styling videos in the future, so keep an eye out for those, and I will see you next time. Bye, everybody.